guys, so I skipped my December favorites and fails just because with the holidays everything was crazy and between all the gifts and everything I just didn't have a chance to film that. So I'm going to combine those all into my January favorites and fails and I'm actually making this month's one video because I don't have that many fails, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to combine them into one video for you so you don't have to watch two. It'll all just be right here. So I'll start out with the favorites as usual and then the fails will be towards the end of the video. My first favorite that I've had since the day after Thanksgiving, I showed you in it on a haul and I wanted to use it for a while so I could make sure that it was really a favorite. I like to do that especially with beauty products, is this Rosebud Salve that I got from Sephora. This is $6 and it does come in a tube also, not just a tin. I prefer the tin, but it also does come in a tube and this is what it looks like. It's a nice corally color. It goes on mostly clear but has like a, a sheen of coral to it and it absolutely works so so well. I love it. Um, I, I put a huge dent in it. It usually comes flat and I use it every single day so far. And I actually saw a dupe for this at Bath and Body Works and it's just called Rose Salve, not Rose Bud Salve. And the packaging is very similar except it's not blue, it's red. I actually got it for my mom for Christmas um, and it looks like pretty much almost the exact same thing and she actually really loves it too. It's not that huge of a difference in price, it's only $5.50, so it's 50 cents less than the Rose Bud Salve, so I know that Bath & Body Works are usually easier to get to than a Sephora, at least for me where I am. I know that Bath & Body Works is a lot closer than Sephora is for me, so this is definitely, definitely my favorite, on my favorites list for the entire winter in general. Um, some people don't like the smell of it, I've heard. I actually really do like the smell of it. It smells like a tint of roses. Um, I don't really have a very strong sense of smell though, so it might be a little different for me, but it's on my lips now. Underneath, like, lipstick and stuff, but I really, really like it. I have no complaints whatsoever about this product, whatsoever. My next favorite beauty product is this Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer. I got this in light and medium, light to medium, and I didn't know this when I bought it, but it actually has 0.5% um, salicylic acid in it, which helps clear and prevent acne blemishes, which is really cool. So it's definitely not going to break you out if it's helping to prevent that, unless you have like some kind of allergy to the stuff in here. But I really like it. It goes on easily, and this is what it looks like, just a little wand, and I just... I don't use it for my under eye circles, I use other product for that. I do use it for just like skin corrections to even out my skin tone basically. And a little bit goes a long way, very easy to spread, I just tap tap it on in the area that it's desired. It blends very nicely and it matches my skin tone really well so I definitely like this product. Um, you may remember in my fails video a couple months ago I didn't like the Listerine total complete plus whitening. It tasted really bad and it burned so much. So I found this Listerine Zero, which doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is usually what causes the burning. And I love it. I mean, I guess it doesn't do the whitening, but at the end of the day, I'll just use white strips or whitening toothpaste or something because mouthwash is supposed to kill germs. So that is its point. And I really like this one. It's in clean mint. As you can see, I've used almost all of it. So I'm definitely going to stick with the one that doesn't burn my mouth, but still gets rid of the germs. So I like this product. In my Christmas haul, you saw that I got the Michael Jackson Experience. I've played this a few times, and I used to dance, so I already kind of have a dance background. So picking up the choreography on this isn't like too too hard. Obviously some of the songs are a challenge. There's actually one where the skill level is called Inhuman. It's not even hard or medium, it's Inhuman. It's for Thriller and it's amazing. I love this. This is my favorite out of the three dance type of Wii games that I have and I just can't wait to go to the next wedding because I'm just gonna bust out my MJ moves. It's gonna be awesome. I If you have a Wii and you like to dance and you want to sweat because it definitely is a workout, I definitely recommend getting this, if you love Michael Jackson too, because it has all of his good classics on there. Next, you're going to kind of laugh at me, but I recently went out to the casino for a night and I had this skin tight little dress that I was wearing and I loved it, but I was like, what the heck kind of underwear am I going to wear with this? Because I don't... Tip, it might be too much information, but I don't typically wear thongs, I wear like boy short, booty short things. and. 
I don't care if they were like seamless underwear, you were gonna see a seam under this dress. But I'm not gonna wear no underwear because it's a dress and that's skanky. <laughs> so I picked up some Spanx, which I never thought I would in the world get. But it does make me feel a little bit better that Jessica Alba wears them too. So, and she's is in a lot better shape than me. So I picked them up and they have all different kinds like any kind you want they can be like full body spanks or they can just be the underwear so they can be as full or as little coverage as you want them to be these are mine they just have the long waistband and then they break out into the shorts that go to about mid thigh so your dress can't be super super short like i couldn't wear them with a pair of shorts but this dress wasn't super short it was just tight so I got these. It has the rubber elastic thing right here that helps it stay up. It goes up to right about where my bra line ends. Um, and then it ha slims you out right there along your, your love handle sides. And then, I'll show you the back too. <laughs> it's so funny. This is what your butt cheeks feed in, fit into. And then it has the band around your thighs and then it goes straight down, leaving no seams like I wanted. What size is this? This is a medium. And I consider myself to be a medium on the bottom. I take usually between a four and a six in pants. So depending on the store, I take a four, five, or six. Um, I know in Victoria's Secret, I take a small in pants. Other places, I may take a medium. It just, you know how it depends on whatever store you're going to. So anyways, I got a medium in these. I know they look minuscule because they really are. They are some work to get on. And it's kind of a pain when you go to the bathroom. But, I mean, overall for the entire night, to not have to worry about seams or anything hanging out or moving the way it wasn't supposed to, it was a good thing. And I'll insert a picture because these made my butt look amazing. I mean, I don't think I have a nasty butt or anything, but these made it like plump. It was so awesome. I was like, yes, I love you. It's going to be perfect for like weddings and just places where you're wearing a dress that you just can't wear typical underwear underneath. Usually I do and it's no problem. You can't tell, but these were definitely coming in handy for that. So Spanx is where it's at. Um, something else I love in the January month every single year is the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I am obsessed with Victoria's Secret. I know all the like models names. My boyfriend will be like, who's this one, Jenna? Who's that one? I know them all. I have my favorites. And if I could buy out the entire catalog, I swear you I would if I could afford it in every bathing suit too. So I was very good and behaved this year at the semi-annual sale when I went to the in-store one. I got two new bras because I got bra sized a few years ago. I'm actually thinking about doing a bra etiquette video um, because I know a lot of people are probably wearing the wrong bra size and wearing just that area the wrong way. It's a pet peeve of mine. But anyways, I picked up two bras. That's not what this is about yet. And I got this pink one. And what one is this? This is... What are you? This is the Sexy Little Things line. Um, it is bright pink and then it has leopard straps. It has little bright pink bows here and then the little loop is what sold me. I like little details like that. So that little leopard loop right there is really cute. It fits perfect and I love the way it looks on. I also picked up, this one looks kind of weird at first, but I like it. It's different. This one is from... And this is just called the plunge, I guess. And it is all leopard print. I didn't really have any animal print bras. But, and then what I liked the most about this is that it has this extra sheer layer of the leopard print fabric. And on the inside, it's a regular shaped bra. So it supports you the same way, but instead of having to wear like an extra sports bra or something to get that smoothness in some shirts, you know what I mean? It already has it built in. So I thought that was really cute. It was the only one I saw there like it and it made me really happy. So definitely picked this up. Um, and that was all from Victoria's Secret. I told you I was good. Um, my next favorite, I know you've seen it in a couple of videos in my haul and in my, um, one of my recent outfit of the days. I actually wore this out to the casino too is my fossil purse that I got from Andrew's parents. I can't believe how much this thing is useful. I like it better than like a little wristlet because I feel like that just kind of dangles off your wrist all night. And you can hold this just like a wristlet. You can wrap it up and kind of just hold it like a clutch. 
Um, or you can have it hanging from your shoulder and the straps are so skinny that you can't even tell. It just hangs there and it's so inconspicuous. It goes with everything because it's black. You can wear it across the body too if you want, like you saw in my outfit of the day. And it holds a very decent amount of things. It has a very big pocket, has a separate little zipper if you want to put money and stuff in there to keep it more safe. And then it clasps in the front with a magnetic little button. And the feeling of it is very smooth. You know it's fossil, so it's good quality. I just can't say enough about it. It's kind of a staple um, piece to have, I think. So I recommend getting one of these or something similar to it just for like emergencies if you don't have anything that matches with an outfit that you need something smaller to carry things around in definitely recommend that my next favorite i don't have anything to show you but it is pinterest um i know i'm kind of kind of late on the bandwagon with it i heard a lot of people talking about it on twitter and stuff like that and i was just like eh, i don't i don't need another thing to be addicted to and then my co-worker was like jenna you have to get it so she sent me the email invite you have to be invited for some reason and you connect it to your Facebook but it doesn't have to uh, post anything to your Facebook I said it so that it doesn't because that would just be annoying um, but it sets you up with like a group of friends that are your friends with on Facebook that you can follow on there and my best way of describing Pinterest is that it's a place to pin your interests obviously but the way I thought about it and the reason I like it the most is that um, Instead of having to, you know, rip things out of magazines, like wedding ideas, like, oh, I like this part of this dress, or I like this venue, or I like this lighting, or to have to rip, uh, like, workouts out. Oh, that's a good butt workout. I want this one. And you rip it out of the magazine, then you have all these papers, maybe even in a folder, just kind of unorganized, and you're probably never going to take them out and look at them. But with Pinterest, it's all of those things, and then some, that you can keep on one like on the internet on your own little space and sometimes I just go through and I scroll all my pins on my boards and I'm just like I love everything it's awesome it gives you I actually this hairstyle I didn't do it as good as the picture but it's like a knotted ponytail it's supposed to be I got it from there today it actually makes my hair look really really short my hair usually comes down to about like I don't know two or three inches longer than that so it made it look really short I knotted it twice I don't know, but it has so many things, so many for like everybody. It's crazy. So I highly recommend it. I'm obsessed. Every, Andrew, every time he comes over, he's like, what are you on that picnet thing? He doesn't know it's, what it's called. He doesn't remember the name, but he sees me on it. He's like, Jenny, you're obsessed. I'm like, I know, I can't help it. It's just so many ideas. And that way, when you go to have your wedding or you go to build your dream home or buy your dream home, you have all these ideas right there and it has an app for it too so I use the app on my phone a lot so it's right there handy you always have your phone on you oh, can't talk enough about it okay um, on to the fails I only have a total of well actually three products so the first one for the fails this is the fails portion I'm saying it again is this glamouflage I just don't get it I bought this I was referred to it from YouTube actually and it says that it can be used as uh, for dark circles and blemishes like that. So basically what I use this stuff kind of for, or my other thing for under eye circles. And it is just so thick and dry and not spreadable whatsoever. Um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. I got it in the color medium. <clears throat> and I guess it matches all right for the color. It comes in this big tube. That's what it looks like on my finger, and it's like a very heavy duty foundation, not a concealer whatsoever. And I just put a lot on my finger, but it does not really spread that well. It kind of stays where it is and gives you that cakey look. So I'm not a big fan of this. It also says that it's such a good concealer that it can be used to cover tattoos. Um, I do have a small tattoo on my ankle, so I haven't tried to cover it with this yet, but maybe I will. It also comes with this little pencil that you're supposed to line, you know, the outside of your tattoo. And I'll cover this little freckle. There. Covers my freckle. So you're supposed to line your tattoo with this and you fill it in with the concealer, I guess. I don't really have any big tattoos, but... I could do a video showing you guys that if you want, but overall this was just a fail for me. I'm not going to use it on my face. It just feels gross and it looks gross. And I feel like it needs some kind of moisturizer mixed in with it, which I would do. I could easily do, mix the two together and then put it on, but 
if I'm buying a product that's fairly expensive, I don't want to have to do that. I should do it on its own. Um, the next fail is kind of a big one for me. It's uh, this Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the Pure Clean line. Uh, obviously the pure clean earth friendly thing is what got me to buy it because it says no silicone parabens dye all that good stuff it says for stronger healthier hair with no way down for normal hair I don't like these at all I use them together obviously and I've used them quite a few times um, over a week's worth of washing for the amount of times I've used them and the no way down thing is a big fat lie it weighs your hair down and my hair, at least my hair getting greasy like that. Like I could take a shower at night with this stuff, go to bed, wake up, and my hair feels gross already. Like I have to try really hard not to touch my head at all if I'm gonna use this because it just makes it nasty really fast. Um, not sure why, and the shampoo lathers up like a lot. It suds up like a lot on my head. And I don't know if you know, but a good shampoo actually isn't supposed to suds up that much. It's supposed to kind of stay in its own element and work. So you're not supposed to have a big pile of suds on your head. I know it feels cool, but that's not what it's supposed to do. And <clears throat> the conditioner doesn't really condition that well. It doesn't really detangle your hair. So I don't know if it, what it is about it, but the healthiness isn't working. It really weighed my hair down and left it feeling really gross. I'm sorry for that, but it, I just didn't like it at all. Uh, the next thing, I kind of feel bad saying it's a fail because it was a gift. And I was super, super excited about this gift. My friend got me the Country Dance 2 game for the Wii. And I was like, hell yeah, Country. I like every single one of these artists, especially that Keith Urban's number one. He's my man. And I was so excited. I was like, I want to go country line dancing sometime in my life. So I might as well learn some moves on here, thinking it was going to be like the Michael Jackson experience. Hell no. The gra uh, I know, I'm not like a gamer, but the graphics on here, for me to say that the graphics on here are bad, that must mean they're bad. They're like big people and the way they move is like so robotic and weird. It's so hard to explain. The songs are good, but the moves suck. Like even the hard versions are easy and the easy versions are just boring because you're doing like step together, step together. It's, I, I don't know. I, I don't have very good things to say about That's this. That's it for my January fails and favorites um, into one video. I know it's going to be kind of long, but I guess it's better than watching two like pretty short videos. I explained things more than I thought I was going to in this video. Um, I hope everyone's having a good winter so far and have a happy Valentine's Day. This is Andrew and I's fifth Valentine's Day. That's absolutely nuts. Um, it's only going to be our four years because we weren't dating we weren't like together yet for our first actually valentine's day was our first date isn't that cute but it's our fifth one that's nuts anyways i hope everybody else has a happy valentine's day if you don't have a boyfriend or anything like that go out with one of your friends it doesn't have to be to celebrate love it doesn't have to be about anything you don't even have to wear pink or red if you don't want to but <laughs> uh i'll see you guys in the next video bye